We have to fire Ross Atkins. This team's shit. Bring him back, Jeez. Matthews needs to figure it out. We're already cooked. We're not making the playoffs. Let's go, Leafs. 2025. Let's go, Jeez. John Gibbon. This is Fan First Network. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What's up, boys? Blue Jays lose four to two in their first, okay. yeah. their first game against <laughs> against the Rays. Um, what do you guys think yeah. about tonight's game? We have to fire Ross Atkins. Right, he's just the worst GM possible. Talking about trading Vladdy and Boba Shet, it's not going to win us games. I know we don't want to win games now. We want to win games next year. But trading them is not going to help us win games. We have like four hits today. Four hits isn't going to win a ball game, let alone a World Series. We want to win a World Series. We want to win the World Series now. Fire Ross Atkins. Fire John Schneider. Get more depth players. And win a goddamn ball game. Matthews needs to perform better in the offseason. We need to get ready for the hockey season here. Matthews needs to figure it out. The Jays, yeah, they're good and all. I mean, I didn't even know we lost. But, uh, yeah, go what Jays, go. Fan. Vladdy had a home run tonight. I mean, shout out Vladdy. Let's go Vladdy. Bring John back Schneider. Tay Oscar. Why would we... Tay -o. We need Teo. Why would we trade him? Let's okay. go Leafs 2025. Let's go Jays! Go Jays, go! Go Jays, go! Fire Ross Atkins. Fire Ross. Fire John Schneider, too. Fuck him. I'm going to be real. We got here, the first three innings were absolute dog shit. And you know what? I'm a big Vladdy guy. He hit a dinger and we got live. Then Turner gets alive right after having an absolute horrible stretch. Show some hope. He had two hits today. It's great. You know, we need some more energy out of the kids. We're missing Tay Oscar Hernandez. We see Swanson with a 9 ERA and we're like, why are we doing these trades? We look back, it goes back to the management. We need to make some moves. Jays need to go in a rebuild. Can never go wrong with a two dollar dogs. Dollar dogs. How many dogs? How many dogs? I got eleven down. Eleven! Oh, wow! Wow! Eleven wow. dogs! There's been a lot of negative to this Blue Jays team this season, but each of you give me one small positive about them. Honestly, it's hard to look at many positives right now as a Blue Jays fan. Honestly, the biggest positive I'm seeing is our uh, young guys standing up. Our bi our veterans are like, other than Vladdy are not doing the brightest, but our young guys, they're doing well. So. Talked about Vlad, and there's rumors about him or, and Bo potentially being right. moved ahead of the deadline. But aside from those two guys, who do you think the Jays should maybe sell? I think you look at our ace last year, Gosman. He's had a horrible year. Drafted him third, third round fantasy this year. Regret that pick instantly. I'm a Jays fan, obviously. And you know what? Fuck, man. Like last year, our, our pitching was amazing. That's why we made it to the playoffs. There's a lot of talk about Kikuchi as well. Kikuchi. Uh, another one, I think Bo. I think you can get a lot of value for him. And it, it's sad to say, but it might be rebuild time. We don't know, but we don't want to say it, but it might be. Do you think we're selling Bo, though, at a low point and we're not going to get as much back? Like, I, I think we can get pretty good value for Bo. Um, he hasn't had the greatest season. I think he's still lots of injuries, but I think he still has a lot of value. Honestly, Bo's a very passionate player, and it's a locker room thing for the Jays right now. There's no, there's no joy or anything. You look at, you look at the Jays' most successful season in the last four years. It's Teoscar Hernandez. It's Lourdes Gurriel or whatever, man. Like it's, it's those passionate guys that are making jokes on the bench and putting smiles on their faces. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, Jays lose 4-2 in the first game against the Rays this series. What do you guys think? What do you guys see? Ass. So ass. I got really excited when we got the back-to-back -back homers by Vladdy and Turner. After that, downhill. Nothing. Quiet. Just quiet. Radio silence. This team's shit. I've said it before. I'll say it again. This team is ass. Fire John Schneider. I don't know what we're still doing. I don't know why Alejandro Kirk is behind the plate anymore. I guess a fucking liability. I love my Mexican Jesus. Don't get me wrong. But this year... Wash, gone. Get him out of here, please. I'll train Moreno to keep him and Jansen. I might walk out of this interview right now just after listening to that comment. I can't with I can't with this team anymore. I can't. Let's get let's get something rolling here, boys. All right. I want I want October baseball. It's not gonna happen this year, but maybe it can happen next year. All right. So let's get it going. Go Jays, go. Follow Fan First Network. Listen to him. Or I'm coming to your house. Toronto is a passionate town, passionate fans. We love the Jays. We just want them to win a little more. Right now, it's a little bit tough, but that's the reality. You know, it's the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the ebbs and flows of professional sport. We want to see more wins, absolutely. More W's on the board, but we're passionate fans. That's what it is to live in Toronto and celebrate the Toronto Blue Jays. I think it's easy today to be an armchair quarterback. That's the reality. It's very easy for us to, uh, to stand here and critique Schneider, 
to critique in-game decisions. I'm not a baseball professional. I'm a rabid and avid fan. I think there are people who are probably far more educated and uh, know the game more than, than I do, and perhaps you as well, who can uh, maybe best judge and best characters of those kind of decisions. What did you guys think of the game? Justin Turner and Vladdy's back-to-back -back homers, they were good. At the end of the game, we didn't play well. Our offense was like trash. Marshall, catching, amazing. Center field, he's just the goal. Fire Ross Atkins, our whole GM is gone. We need to just trade at the deadline. Maybe Jansen, Kevin Kiermaier, maybe those, and people on expiring contracts. Turner. Yeah, Turner especially. It's been a pretty negative season all around for the Blue Jays yep. this year. Give me one thing positive about them this year. Uh, Vladdy cutting his fucking hair. Honestly, Vladdy cutting his hair, huge aspect of the Jays. You know, we needed that. You know, his hair was just causing us loss. It him down. It was, you know. We need to bring Teal back. We need to bring Teal back. Hey, Hernandez, bring them back. Bring him back, Jays. Bring him back. We need the power hitting. Yes, we do. We need the power hitting. So desperately, the home run derby champion. That's who we need on our roster. Uh, well, we had him on our roster, and guess where he is? Who do you think the Jays should sell? Get rid of Bichette. We need to keep Vladdy. Get rid of Bichette. I'm telling you right now. What do you guys see? Bo needs to go. Fuck Bo Bichette. They traded my glorious king, Kevin Biggio. DFA him. How are you going to do him dirty like that? That guy's the fucking best. And now look at us. Our season is in the fucking downhill. Everyone needs to fucking go. Tell him. Fuck. Tell him. And we cut Kevin Biggio before we cut Danny fucking Burgers. What are we doing, boys? Can you give me one thing positive about this team? Vladdy. There's a lot of haters out there, but you're a fucking stud, and I love you because you're the only one who shows up night in, night out. You had a fucking tank today. Fucking awesome. Obviously, there's been rumors about maybe Vladdy or Bo being traded ahead of the trade deadline. Other than those two guys, do you think there's anybody else on this team should definitely be sold at the deadline? Expiring contracts, just from a business perspective, Kiermaier, Turner, Kikuchi, Garcia, all those guys, you can get a decent haul. You may as well. We're already cooked. We're not making the playoffs. May as well get what you can for them. Can you guys both give me one positive thing about this team this year? Daniel Vogelback coming to the team. <laughs> and then getting DFA'd. The good thing about this team was um, bringing up a few players from the Buffalo Bisons team. They've been really good decently. A good idea would be to re-sign Vladdy because Vladdy has been really good for the team. And honestly, you know what? Even though he may not have any good teammates right now, he's still... Uh, he still calls Toronto as a really good home to him. I have a feeling that they're going to do something with Bo and move him somewhere, but um, other than that, yeah, sign Vladdy again, and that's it, just move Bo. This is Fan First Network. Fucking hell, I'm done. We can't. Back, John Gibbons!